before we get into the video make sure you're subscribed we're trying to hit 50 subscribers by the end of the month so make sure you're one of them it's also my birthday week this week so make sure you're subscribed a little birthday present to me to reach 50 subscribers by thursday who knows but yeah enjoy the video it's a mental what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another 22 men and a ball video today's a weird one because we've got two games in one day and it's going to be stressful because i've got so many things that have to go perfect for me to get to both um so weirdly they've put west brom and villa on the same day to play and that has caused a few issues for me obviously i've got a season to get both so i'm gonna to go to both games uh don't waste my money but it's difficult because West Brom play at three. If it was a 12 and five, easy. West Brom play at three o'clock. Villa play at half five against Spurs. And it's going to be difficult. However, the plan is to... I'm now about to go get a train to the Hawthorns to see West Brom play Stoke. And then I've got to leave about five minutes early, five, ten minutes early to then get a train to Birmingham and then get a taxi to Villa Park and hopefully get there for about 10 minutes for the game. It's going to be tight. However, I'm going to do it, hopefully. And hopefully we see some good football today. So this, well, I, I still don't know what I'm going to do with this video and how I'm going to put it together. It'll either be two separate videos or it'll be one. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do a prediction for both now because more or not. I'm going to say West Brom will beat Stoke. I'm going to say 2-0. I think it, I wouldn't be surprised if it's 2 1, but I'm going to say 2 0. And with the Villa Spurs one, it's going to be close, and I'm saying 2 2 draw for that one. I think we'll probably go 1 up, then they'll go 2 1, then we'll bring it back to 2 2, uh, which I'll take. I'll take that against Spurs there, pushing for top four. It's going to be a really tough game. Um, but yeah, hopefully we manage both, and I'm not going to count my blessings because it's going to be very, very tight. But let's go for it. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to the Hawthorns. Close that down. What was you saying?
uh, we're now near the villa ground. So I've got a bit of a water to go with the taxi driver. Couldn't get him any closer, apparently, even though we went the complete wrong way. But yeah, uh, we're rushing to get there for kickoff. We might be a minute or two late, but we'll see. But yeah, West Brom lost 3-1 in the end. Uh, we I left at 2-1. Uh, just got to get the train. So yeah, let's hope Villa win. Up the villa. Let's get there and hopefully make the kickoff. We have made it and on time as well. Thank God for that. I can't believe this. No way.
Mm. Villa are just a great club to support. You should really support them yourselves, you know. Um, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally speechless. Um, first half, we were incredible. That's the best performance. I think Gerard said it as well. It's the best performance that we've had, not just under Gerard, all season. All season, in that first half, it, that it was exceptional. Nothing went wrong. But the second half, we came out. We looked like we still had the same tempo and same like, motivation for the game. Um, but that second goal killed everything. It killed everything. And fair play to Tottenham. They came out and they did what they needed to do. I've always said, though, I've always said, the way you stop Tottenham... Because they love, they love the ball into Kane, love it. So they'll, with a wide centre back or with a full back, they'll play the ball into Kane, and then either flick on or he'll bring it down and play it into one of the wingers or into one of the wing backs. Because the wingers normally come narrower, and the full backs go a bit wider. And Kane will always play that ball or flick it on for Son or Kulusevski who uh, running in the gaps that, that he's left. Because there's always when Kane runs out with a header or like to chest it down. A centre back, he always draws centre back out, which leaves space in behind. What you do to stop Tottenham, it's very simple. You leave your centre back. If Kane goes forward, you leave centre back there, and you leave a centre mid on Kane. So you have you have that little gap in between the centre mid and the defender. Of if a ball's going into Kane, the centre mid closes Kane. Doesn't matter if he doesn't get there straight when he gets a touch, or it doesn't get, it doesn't matter if he's on Kane as the ball's coming to him. As long as he's there. As the ball is brought down, that's how you deal with Kane because the centre there's the centre backs don't get out of position, which means there's no space for the players to go in behind, uh like from a flick on. And there's, there's there's someone ready for when Kane brings the ball down to play into a wing back or into one of the wingers. It's very simple. And if 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 it, if he still if he doesn't get the ball off Kane when he goes to play it. Kane will have to be forced backwards. He has to be forced backwards unless he does some magic skill, which fair play to if he does that. But it's very simple and it, it's frustrating because I think three of their goals came from a flick on to, from Kane. Obviously, the first one, it was lucky, it was fortunate. The uh, shot was from Kane's going wide, but then it hit Cash and then went to Sonny, who struck it first time, whatever, off the post name. But that happens in games and you bounce back. We bounce back amazingly. And, you know, it, it just it is what it is. Gerard for me is still the man. Like obviously, he's still the man. He, he needs a pre-season under his belt. Get one or two signs. I don't think we need an overhaul. A few people on Twitter are saying the squad needs to be ripped apart. We've do, we do that. We've done that like two seasons in a row more or less. And then this season we brought in quality players who should have turned it around. Buendia has been our best player season probably, and he's left on the bench. And it's he comes on and he shows the work rate that none of the other players after that second goal winning none of the other players showed it. And he showed it. Uh, but yeah, man, it, it's it's tough to take because of how well we played first half and 4 0 flat as them so much as an XG stat. Um, but we had like double the XG and we lost 4 0. It's daft. But, you know, we live and we learn. Uh, the city, Our season was over a few games back now. Um, but, you know, let's try and just finish top half. It's getting a lot. Of, I think 16th to like 9th. Yeah, 16th to 9th, there's four points in it. So, so it's daft. It, whoever whoever finishes uh, in those, I think it's four. It might be seven. I'm not sure. It's something like that. But um, yeah, whoever, we we could finish anywhere realistically between those places now, and that's scary because we should be clear with the squad we've got. With you know, promising manager, we should be clear. But it is what it is. Next season for us is the big season. This season is ending it. But we've completed the challenge of two in one day. I don't know how it's going to fit into one video, if I'm honest, but we'll find a way because two videos is too long <laughs> for, for you for you lot to watch. I know that won't work. Um, but yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed. I'm sorry I've rambled a bit at the end here, but uh, that was tough to take. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like if you have. Subscribe if you are new. Try and hit 50 subscribers by the end of the month. So let's try and make I have my birthday this week as well, so subscribe for my birthday. Yeah? Um, yeah. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. But until then, have a good time. Bye-bye. Shut up and sit down.